I haven't been to this field since I was about 15 years old. Just good memories, good vibes, all the great things that come along with uh, being a kid and, and learning to grow and play soccer. I was never a kid that, that said, you know, I was the one that was going to make it. You know, I was, I was just there to, to stay humble and work hard and, and show what I could do, and, and that's what I did, and I think that's how I got here. So this is my room. Turn all the fans down, obviously it's a little bit hot in here. Something that I do is I keep my jerseys uh, since I've started playing professionally. So uh, my first jersey that I had was with the LA Galaxy. My first game with Cholos ever. I have my first US jersey that I just had in uh, Puerto Rico. So those are pretty cool. That's kind of like my collection. You know, I think the tro why I still kept the trophy is probably because it's the biggest trophy that, that my club team had ever earned. So I think my coach just kind of gave it to me and he was just like, you know what, it's all right, you know, just, you just keep it for now. And I was like, okay, cool. So I ended up taking it home and I just never gave it back. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it back to him today. <laughs> good. Good. good, how are you? Good, good. Everything good? Yeah. Is this how the field was before? No, I think the field looked better. Than before. Athletically, he was, since he was little, he was superior to all the players. But I think the way that he is as a person is what really sets him apart. That when he played, it was all business. He, he was unstoppable to the age of 16 here. I told his dad when I, the first day that I coached him that he's, he was special, that he had the goods. And that was, you know, when he was seven years old and he made it, so I'm very proud of him. Oh, look. Stay right there, stay right there so we can act like we're building it. <laughs> it's true, I'm, I'm in a very unique situation where I live in Chula Vista in San Diego and I cross every single day to, to go to training and, and sometimes I go to, to visit friends because I have friends down there. And so for me, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I see it as I get the best of both worlds. Uh, I get to live in, you know, in the beautiful United States of America, and, but at the same time I get the experience of being in Mexico and the culture, and so I'm very, very blessed for that. After the U17 World Cup, I had the option to go to UCLA, uh, where I was verbally committed. I had signed my letter of intent. I believe that the most important thing for me was to play constantly, and at that time, we all knew I wanted to be professional. Club Tijuana had, had contacted me and, and I think the, the benefits in Tijuana kind of outlasted the, the ones in LA. I kind of uh, gave Paul my opinion on, on what I thought, on the, the path that I, I thought that he should take, but he was said, no, you know, Dad, this is what I want to do. I want to go down, I want to play. I want to play for Tijuana, I want to play for the Cholos, and, and this is, you know, this is what I feel I need to do and the path that I want to take. I was able to not only live at home, uh, but live in San Diego and cross the border every day. And so for me, I think that was an easy decision uh, in the end for me to go there. And I ended up going, you know, as an under-20 player. And my first season, I ended up playing all the games with, with the first team and none with the under-20s. And then from then on, uh, you know, I just continued to grow and, and expand. Para mí, Paul eh, es un jugador con muchísima proyección, con muchísimo futuro, pero también es un jugador que está aportando muchísimo ahora en el presente. No es un, no es un jugador joven y nosotros en el, en el equipo no lo vemos como tal, como ese jugador joven que puede ser un, un gran jugador en el futuro, ¿no? sino que lo vemos como un jugador en el presente que puede resolver partidos desde ya, que puede marcar diferencia dentro, del, dentro de cada partido. Now Alejandro Bedoya brings it in, Alejandro Bedoya puts it right in front and an easy tap in goal for Paul Oriola for the United States. First of all, getting called to the national team camp, I can't put into words how excited I was. And for me to be able to play in my first game in Puerto Rico, to be able to go out there and uh, be, not only play, but be a starter and help uh, the team get a good result with an assist and a goal. Uh, you know, it's special for me and 
my goal is to continue to prove myself and, and to help the team. You know, it's not necessarily about me anymore, it's about the team. And it's about me providing something that, to the team that no one else can. And we're starting to understand each other a lot more and of course I'm, I'm excited to be there. I mean, it's the national team, you know, it's, it's something that, that everyone uh, strives and dreams for.